Hello and welcome back to the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast. This is a mini sode and we're so close to Christmas. I'm so excited. Um, I, I love this time of year. Don't you, Amy? Yes, absolutely. I've got two tiny people in my house that are bouncing off the walls. So there is all sorts of Christmas cheer happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's really awesome. And I think that, so we wanted to talk about leaving the pandemic behind. I mean, we all wish that we would wake up. I mean, I think we all did this on January 1 of 2021, where we thought, okay, we're going to wake up on January 1 and it's all going to be over. And and it wasn't necessarily. So I think we all want it to be behind us. But what we're talking about today specifically is looking at um, looking at this from and through the lens of publishing. And Amy, do you want to elaborate a little bit more on that? Because I know we talked about um, different things that impact what we see uh, in terms of what authors are writing about, like major changes and pop culture stuff. Yes. So we've done an episode on on the challenges of kind of cementing your book to something in pop culture or it yeah. something very timely happening in the world. But I feel like the pandemic was that on steroids. <laughs> so definitely listen to that other episode as well. But we want to specifically focus on the pandemic because we've seen so many authors come to us that drew a lot of inspiration from this kind of shared experience. So we've seen a lot of memoirs, a lot of self-help books. Um, we've even seen some fiction, believe it or not. But, you know, and it totally makes sense because that is something that everybody is connected to in some way. So, you know, I, I totally understand where in some ways you look at it and go, what a great opportunity. Everybody's yeah. going to get it, you yeah. know? Yeah. But if you're going to tie your book to something so well-known, you need to have a plan for how your book in your marketing, in your promotion, in your pitching, and all of that stuff will continue to transition and remain relevant when the world starts shifting again, too. Because I will say, you know, some of the issues with the pandemic stuff that, that we've seen very personally, I can speak for the authors that we, that have spoken to us is that, you know, a lot of times they lead, they lean really dark, you know, yeah. they're very dark, they're very heavy. And that is just, that is always something that's going to be challenging to find just the right readers for that. But when it's, when it's dark and heavy and then tethered to an event in our past that it just gets there, the challenges start to build up. Let's put it that way. They kind of start to snowball. Right. Right. Exactly. And I think that there's a difference between, so there's a difference between anchoring your promotion or a book idea to something that's in pop culture. Right. So for example, uh, when Prince died, um, there were a lot of books that appeared on, you know, in like in BookBub ads and on Amazon that were related to his life, which you to which I totally get. Um, anchoring book anchoring books to the 20th anniversary, which we have this year of 9-11, right? Again, totally understandable. But I can remember when 9-11 happened, there was a movie, and Amy, I recommended it to you. There was a movie, and now I'm not going to think of the title, but it had Nicolas Cage in it. And it, it's a great movie. But at the time that it came out, a lot of reviewers said, it's just too early. It's just too early. We're just not ready. And I think that that, I think that, that movie came out, uh, I want to say maybe a year, or not even two years after 9-11. So I, when we see authors with self-help books and memoirs about COVID, right, about the pandemic, it's it's kind of, you know, I hesitate to advise authors um, on their promotional options because a lot of publishers and agents have actually that I've heard and that I've read about are really staying away from that topic because they understand that it first off, it's a shared experience. So your memoir has to be radically different right, than anything that's already out there. Um, your self-help book should be anchored to something other than like what the pandemic taught me, you know, because I've seen some self-help books that are that were sort of inspired by it, but aren't necessarily anchored to it. Because when this is over, a self-help book, which technically could be considered an evergreen title that you can promote well year after year in five years, isn't really going to be relevant either. But the other thing to think about too is, is the readiness of the public to hear about or to read about 
something related to something that all of us were just like, oh, I'm just so excited. Like if I see another face mask, I'm just going to lose my mind. Um, when you think about in a very, very different way, right? And I, I believe I cited this example when we talked about this previously. When you think about like World War II, right? That was some that, that was something everybody had a different experience about it, but it was something that really did involve the entire world. Um it took, I, I think it took seven, maybe 10 years for the first movie about World War II to actually come out. So think about, you know, when you think about that, and part of the reason was, was everybody was just, they wanted to go on with their lives and they were, you know, sort of war weary and all of that. And again, it's a very different example, but it, it, it is a cautionary tale. I know some TV shows that started off this current television season by referencing the pandemic quickly dropped it because they realized that viewers didn't need to be, didn't need to turn on the TV and be reminded about it. Right. That's a very good point. You know, a, a book is very much a time capsule to some yeah. degree. And yeah. you have to, you have to consider how that is going to work. I mean, cause once you put a book out there, the idea is that it's going to be out there for a while. So you yeah. really need to think like, all right, I want to write a book about this. I need to consider what is that marketing promotion? What is that going to say for my brand a year from now? What is it right. going to say two years from now? What is it going to say five years from now? Like, do you really have something solid to work from as the book progresses, as the world progresses? Because if there are missing links in that chain, that's, that's a pretty good indicator that, that you need to maybe take the book in another direction or beef it up a little bit with more, like you said, Penny evergreen elements as well. So it's not so focused on something that is eventually going to be in our past and maybe not something anybody wants to relive again. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think it's just worth considering as we are, you know, I, and part of the reason why we saved this episode for the end of the year is because I know that a lot of us start thinking about, okay, so what am I going to do next year? What am I going to do next year? Give some serious thought to, um, you know, if you were thinking about writing a self-help book or, and I don't mean to be, I'm not trying to, be, I'm not trying to be a buzzkill over here, but just give it a, give it some more thought and ask around and talk to some, you know, if you have access to some publishing people, talk to them and see what they think about the current climate. Cause I know that most publishers are not really taking pandemic focused books because they're just, there isn't a buying market for it. So really, you know, at the end of the day, and this is true for anything, make sure that there's a buying market for something that you're putting out there. Um, unless it, you know, and look, if it's therapy and if it helps you to write the book and talk about what you went through, great. But, you know, putting, a, you know, putting a book out there like that and expecting to sell copies is an entirely different, it's an entirely different thing. Um, so Amy, thank you so much for um, this. I know we have one more show coming up, one more mini-sode rather coming up for December 31st. I'm so excited. But I wish you all um, a very, very, if you celebrate Christmas, I wish you a very Merry Christmas, very happy holidays. And we'll talk to you. Um, we'll, we'll see you again in the next show. Thank you for tuning in. This is the mini-sode of the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast, Penny Sansevieri and Amy Cornell. Bye-bye.